Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of 50 Guilty. Now then, I have been training up, I'm level 28, so I can pretty much take on anything at the moment. But there is one thing that I noticed on this game. You notice that the Mystic Guards that we used to do in Tales of Berseria? Well, the AI likes to do it even if you're controlling them. That's a knock on the game itself, not the game itself. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, but yeah, that's the main problem I have. I, I, you have to hold, you have to hold down R2 and hold down circle at the same time to use the Mystic Art. But sometimes I'm just attacking and my character randomly does it, and I don't understand why. Um, so yeah, that's an issue on the game itself. But there's also, there is also something over here that we need to get. Is that a monolith? Yes. I've also um uh, I've also got some more skills like the deadly range, which I want to get, but I don't have enough fucking skill points. I mean, I could probably take out because it's because I need to have that thing. Oh yeah. Also, the change usually you can change characters, but only the, if you're Seraphim, you have four characters to choose from. If you're Saray, Rose, or Alicia, you can't change characters until you get this along. Which I think is a blow to the game itself, so. Long Stumper. Oh, so they're on Mac with Doom. Okay. That explains everything. So that's the main reason why it. Well, I guess that takes away my fucking um, uh, criticism. There we go. Alright, let's go wait in line. Those who don't comply shall be punished. So that's why they got to be kidding. I don't have time for this. An inspection? It's the army. What do you think? There's gonna be a real war going on real soon. Again? Hmm. More? Odds are they'll be detaining you, I bet. Huh? Why me? You're back there. Pipe down! Sorry! You've heard the rumors about the Shepherd, right? Yeah, in Highland, I think. Right, but the latest word is he's made his way to Roland's. Huh, no kidding. Crazy. Does the Roland's Empire think unfavorably of the Shepherd? You bet they do. The knights have seen what he can do in battle and are all up in arms. And the church has branded him a heretic. As if that wasn't enough, there's talk of mysterious happenings going on in town. Next! Oh, looks like I'm up. On that note, watch your back out there. Gotcha, bitch. I thought we'd be fine, but now I'm not so sure. I think it's best that you hide who you are. But the idea of making someone like you tell a lie is like... It's like trying to convince your best hen to lay hard-boiled eggs. Yeah. Guess we better get ready to make a run for it. We have a pass and everything. Just chill. I got this. Just no creepy head voices for the time being. Got it? So long as you don't cause any trouble. Okay. Just keep your mouth shut. Next! Oh. Uh. All right, we're just gonna move the on in. Remember the hey, Sergei Strelka, captain of the Platinum Knights, defenders of the glory of the Roland's Empire. This guy's a good badass. I like this guy. To ensure the Empire's peace, you prove your gratitude as much as your loyalty. Got you, buddy. Is he always like this, or are his boxers just chafing him? Here you go, our merchant guild pass. We've come to Lastendell on business, specifically the collection of a bill. The sparrow feathers are you. Quite impressive. We've got a strict deadline, no time to waste. The place of business is the liquor establishment on the main road. Ah, yes, Boris's canteen. That place certainly gets an awful lot of business. And we deeply appreciate being a part of it. Is there anything else? No. My gratitude for cooperating with our inspection. Thanks for all your hard work. 
Next, you there. Quite some garb you're wearing. Are you this young woman's guard? Oh, uh, a girl doesn't dare travel alone. Then why does he carry an ornamental sword? He knew that Saray's sword was ornamental? He's seeing right through us. He's less of an idiot than he looks. Wait, there are people watching. <sighs> well, you know, we have our reasons. I'm asking your guard here. Crap. Repeat after me. Please forgive my unquestionably suspicious appearance. The truth is, I am the son of a provincial lord. Lord! Hmm? Rose. That's right. My husband here is nobility. <laughs> Never had I lifted anything heavier than a fork in my life. Yet by chance did I fall in love with a traveling merchant. <laughs> in the throes of passion, I threw my money and land away to be with her just over a year ago. You... you did? Even my wife didn't know the full truth. The cruelties of the outside world taught me how feeble I truly am. But even so, I knew a husband has a duty to protect his wife. Oh my god, this is so fucking... So I wear an ornamental sword at my side as a hollow pretense of strength. Laugh at the weak will of a sad, broken man. Ah. Sorry. You're doing your best. It's cool. Oh, my dearest, your sweet words are sucker to my tired limbs. <laughs> Sow the seeds of love and they will bloom no matter how arid the terrain. Live and be strong. That was fucking funny. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiots. He finds out at some point though, because he is a smart guy. I don't know how that worked, but I think we made it. Thanks, guys. More like we just lucked into the perfect audience. A win's a win. Turns out it's handy to have an invisible woman on your side, isn't it? I suppose. I'm sorry I told you to be quiet. So it's all right if we communicate directly inside your... No. It's creepy and obscene. Obscene? I'm not obscene. Well, you Come dress on. Up like a... Let it go, Lila. All right, then. I assume that we're on our way to Pendrago now? Yes. Well, uh... But Mick, oh, Leo, I know this town! Kind of exciting. Well, it does, so... Remember that town that, really we, that was later in the game? Little. It was like Did the I last... Know? One of the Get last towns charged. that we found? That town that had all the fucking radishes? Sounds fun. I'm game. Bunch of children. That's why we get along so well. And someday we all will. You mean seraphim and humans? Yeah, right. <laughs> What's right, so that? There... Oh, wow, there's this a aroma. Lot. Well, there's... There is... Where is it? Oh, it's done. There's a lot of save points here. Hey. Oh yeah. Wilkis Wilk. Hey Saray, what does my true name mean? Oh, it means Rose is Rose. Rose is Rose? Isn't that kind of lazy? Ooh. Is it? I mean, I made it on a whim, but I thought it seemed fitting. It was an urgent situation after all. Hmm. But Princess Alicia used to be a squire, right? What was her true name? Melphis Amekia. It means Alicia the Smiling. Oh, I see. So it's not lazy. You're just being biased. Huh? How? My smile is pretty gorgeous too, you know. Quit it, Rose. You're scaring me! <laughs> Rose, that's just how Saray is. Yeah, I know. Maybe his name should mean Saray is Saray. She's roasting him into fucking oblivion, man. Okay, so you know this town. We know this town. 
Uh, I think there is a fucking thing about it over here. Oh yeah, what? Can we buy fucking dark bottles? No, we cannot. Although we can buy. <sighs> you know what the funny thing is? In Tales of Vesperia, these things are worth ten gold. They're very fucking cheap. These ones are two hundred. It's not like we're gonna use them anyway. I have gotten a lot of fucking money. Oh yeah. I... Oh yeah, also, um... No, that's not what it is. This one. This one. This one is is activated even though you're not connect- even though the thing's not connected. That's why this one's fucking broken to shit. No, we go. Yeah, those are the radishes. The old man at the in the park. I hear he's only forty years old. It was some terrible event in the past that made for him like that. No, yeah. oh wait. There's a gnome in here. He's up top. Now oh, what's good? Thanks, buddy. There must be herbs around here. Hey, old man. Alright, so there is um, uh, a secret event here. Yeah, might as well. Thanks for the map, man. So I guess we can't do anything until we um, uh There we go, that's what we need to do. Get out of town! What do you mean they're selling elixir? Elixir? It's true. Word around town is that the nobles in Highland and Rollins can't get enough of the stuff. But how are they getting access to it? I thought the church controlled the entire supply. Good point. Well, they say they've got the church's blessing. No pun intended. And apparently the damn stuff actually works. Longer life, fresher breath, everything. Well, don't that beat all. What beats all is the price of that junk. You gotta be one rich chump, let me tell you. <sighs> yeah, I should have guessed as much. The church is selling elixir now? Something sounds off about that. Is this Belfry all machine run? Yep. It's yeah, remember that bell? Remember that bell Gears thing that they were moving, talking the about? The bell? It they actually like made the, the bell. Took them 200 music. years to do now it. That's something I'd like to hear. Wow. You'll only get something like this in the city of artisans. Such craftsmanship. Oh, an art appreciator now, are you? I wonder how the motor works. Don't ask me. I hear the sound of the drawworks. They're probably utilizing the power of the aqueduct running underground. Aqueduct? Damn. Really? Nothing I can see suggests that. That's because it's a hidden refuge area. This place was built as a fort in the first place. Oh, so yes. that's why this place is surrounded by castle walls. Before it was a fancy belfry, this was a communication tower for sending smoke signals. So much history everywhere. This is I already knew cool. about this. Guys seriously geek out over the weirdest things. <laughs> well, let them have their fun. Yeah, I suppose. Okay, so can I go here now? Okay, because I know this one has one too, but... Well, I need to... I can't do it yet. I don't know why. Remember, this place was in the Celestial Record. Oh, there we go. Oh my, don't those potatoes look scrumptious? Oh yeah, radish bells. They're on the smallish side, but they're super sweet and delicious. They look like they go great with butter. That, or you can just bake them and sprinkle with salt. Oh my gosh, 
That sounds delicious. You know those have got poison in them, right? Poison? Oh, yeah, something like that. Eat enough, and it'll be your last meal. Well, sheesh, you just gotta cook it thoroughly, right? Nope, that actually strengthens the poison. You're even deader now. How about if you cut the eyes off? Does that fix it? Whoops, still dead. Radish bells contain poison in both the eyes and the skin. Now you remove all the skin and slice out the eyes, it's perfectly safe. Hey, Lila, where do you think you're going? I'm afraid this conversation is a bit... <sighs> I think she has some concerns about your food safety standards. <laughs> hey, it's Bob. Hey, it's Maven. How you doing, buddy? How have you been treating you? Alright, uh, let me just check something real quick. Okay, good. We got the two things that I knew were here. Sweet. I knew that the rat you can do the radishes, I just didn't know you have to- But the... goodness, we usually reserve such sensitive matters for later hours. My apologies, Your Grace. I merely wish to offer my gratitude for the services. It is appreciated. But you must understand, Cardinal Fortin and the other high clergy have very strict requirements for us. I am aware, Your Grace. Be assured that my organization will be most generous in our contributions. It looks like that is the town sanctuary. Shall we? Yes. Fethmus Mioma, Luz Ralph Roulet, Hefson Euland, Lukai Yerlin? Hmm. You okay? Are you not feeling well? Fethmus Mioma, Luz Ralph Roulet, Hefson Euland, Lukai Yerlin. Fethmus Mioma, Luz Ralph Roulet, Hefson Euland, Lukai Yerlin! Whoa! What are you doing? You tell me! When I formed the pact with Lila, she told me I had to remember those in like three seconds. And now I can't get them out of my head. <laughs> it was an emergency. I couldn't help it. Lila can be pretty forceful sometimes. I wish she were a ghost. She'd be less scary. Shot fired! Alright, before we enter the fucking... Thing. I want to go into the end because uh, there might be stuff that we are missing here. Uh, what has the end? Oh, wait, I went past it. Fuck! Oh, oh, wait, I went past it again! What's he a stay? Is there any sort of rhyme or reason to what happens when you fuse equipment? Great question, Rose. You're right. There's nothing random in the fusion of equipment. Can you just tell it to me short and simple before I fall asleep? Sure. First, the rules for fusing two different equipment skills only apply to those located in the same slot. So it actually does matter which slot each skill is positioned at. Yes. yes. What skill is placed in which slot is a very important factor in equipment fusion. So it's important to... Well, it's... Huh? Are you asleep? <laughs> Shots fired! This game is fucking fun. I love to all the Tales games, because they tell you a great story. Let's see another steak. Dezel, you're quite knowledgeable about Hellions. So are Lila and Edna. Of course. They're my targets. You have to know your enemy. Well, yeah. But sometimes I run into some that psychologically I just can't stand. Then you must become more knowledgeable about them. It's easier to deal with if you just treat them as data stored in your brain. Does it really work that way? You do have a point, though. I'll try to take things in a more positive light. I can't protect you forever, you know. Foreshadowing! Does that know what happens to Dezel? Sort of. I mean, there's two. There's two endings. You have the bad ending, and then you also got the good ending. Dezel's wind stepping skill sure is useful in traveling around. Yes. Yep. When you say wind, speed is definitely the first thing that comes to mind. Wind isn't the only thing that relates to speed. What do you mean? There's only one source of power, and besides, there may be multiple factors that influence the outcome. I'm not sure I get what you mean. It doesn't matter if it's water or fire. You can produce similar effects depending on how you use those powers. Dezel, do you think you can teach me how to use them? I can only teach you the basics. 
The rest all depends on you. Looking out for others as always, huh, Dazzle? <sighs> Whatever. Oh, so that's how he gets the skill. Yeah, you have to watch cutscenes just to get some skill checks. Yeah, so now I'm, uh... Oh, good, he's got them all... He's got them all now, so, yeah. But we're gonna keep him with the fucking skill set. Is there more? Yes, there is. So which one of you influenced the other into ruin exploring mania? Man, I don't even remember. Both of your jackasses! It, obviously, always dragging me around like that. But you were the one who first took interest in the treasure hunting aspect of it all. That's only because I wanted there to be some sort of overarching goal to what we were doing. Well, I've learned one thing from all this. What is it? That I don't care about this stuff at all. That's all you got out of this? <laughs> She's a fucking bitch! I love these skits, they're fucking funny. <laughs> Burrow out. Dezel, do you know a lot about ruins? I do have some knowledge about them since I've been around, but I've never been interested enough to explore. It's really fun to imagine what these artifacts have been through over the years. Ponder over our new discoveries, close in on the truth, or expand on what we already know. I do have the ability to sense certain smells left behind in the earth, to detect humans and certain objects left behind since ages past. Whoa! You can sense through smells? Is that something even someone like me could learn? You can learn through experience to a degree. But you need talent if you want to truly master it. Yeah. I'll try my hardest. Let me know if I overlook anything important. Yeah, as long as I don't get into the way of your precious hobby. Did Sheree learn something? Oh, wait, no. I think Jezel learned something. Yes, he has. Okay, so he has the same thing as... Uh, to, to. Is there more? Damn, man. Lila, sit here for a second. What is it? Just take a seat. So, you'll have a lot of Norman acquaintances, but don't seem terribly interested in Norman. Well, I mean, we're just friends is all. What the? Just sit down already. Lila, you're underestimating them. Remember, we need to catch 50 of them or else. You really like the Norman, don't you, Edna? She does. You even got one on your umbrella. You kidding me? I totally don't like them. Now, why won't you sit down? The last time I sat down, it was to pull an all-nighter. That's bad for fair skin like mine, so good night. Hey, sit down. I want a little more effort there, Edna. I mean, you're trying to learn from... Well, we have been getting a lot of fucking... Right oh. I never thought I'd see so many Hellions. Kinda makes me feel guilty for not being able to see them before. You should. Ignorance is a crime, you know. So, don't you think the quality of equipment is crucial in surviving tough battles? They also say that true masters don't choose their weapons. But since we're no masters, I thought it might be better if we build relationships with the shop owners and order from them. Yeah, well... They say the relationship only lasts as long as the money does. Yeah, yep. I agree. So what I'm saying is, it's important to build the relationship with the shopkeeper rather than just haggling to get the price down. I can't even tell if you guys are arguing or not. Uh, yeah, sure, Mike Leo. We've been watching. This is the problem with this game, though. I said that in the very beginning. Like, all we're doing is watching skits. Oh, nice. Okay, so Edna... Well, Edna's already done. We've got luring. Item reducing, which we're gonna do. Yes, we will do that. Um, uh, equipment. Uh, earth ring. So he's the only one who's not missing him. But um, there's one thing I need to do. I'm gonna put them both on normal wind because there's gonna be a lot of fucking stuff. Water, Jesus Christ! My enemies, sharp ice, crack and scatter. If I can just exert control over the diffusion here, couldn't quite suppress it enough, but I'm starting to get the feel for it at least. 
Hang in there, buddy. This is what most of the parts are gonna be like later on. Since we pretty much got our fucking team at the moment. Boy, I gotta say, that improv act during the inspection sure was a hoot. Yeah, Lila in particular was getting way into it. To tell you the truth, I've always loved performances like that. I've been wanting to try one out my whole life. I gotta say, that was pretty sweet. Coming up with those ridiculous lines on the fly. We Seraphim have way more experience than you folks. Now that you mention it, that's right. A Seraph's age basically has nothing to do with their appearance. How old are you actually, Lila? I'd like to know that too. I feel like she must be older than me. That's classified. I guess your ad libbing prowess only applies in certain situations. I think Myla's over 300. Because she's older than Miklio. And Miklio is older. Yeah, this is pretty much what you're doing. Jesus Christ, man. Rose? Yeah! Oh, oh, yeah. Please excuse me. I'll do an is extra part. This is all we're doing. Yeah, much. So, what's up? I just wanted to thank you properly. Thank you very much for saving Saray in the battle. Oh, think nothing of it. It was a spur of the moment kind of thing. Maybe. But your courageous acts and spirit were very moving. They were? Hey. Ah, come on, show yourself! Now, what do you want? I was just going to tell you not to overdo it with all the flattery. Also, sorry for surprising you. Just don't do it again! I apologize too soon. That was even fiercer than when we saw her in battle. <laughs> She's pissed off. <laughs> Yeah, this is what the problem with this game is, because I already know what's going to happen. Luckily, I got a lot more money, so I don't have to worry about it at the moment. But, uh... Oh, we're finally there. Sweet. So, yeah, that's the main problem with this game. I'm going to do one more just in case. Hey, Edna. What? Say? Aren't those boots a little big on you? Got a problem with it? Nope. Just wondering if it's hard to walk in those. They used to be my brother's. He adjusted it so that it'll match my shoe size. Don't worry. Then how about those gloves? We have matching ones. What about them? They look great with your dress. Though the overall look is a little strange. <sighs> my brother told me the same thing. Huh? Never mind. Just saying that you wouldn't be able to pull this look off. <laughs> Guess that's true. Weirdo. Oh, that's right. Aizen gave her, her boot, his boots to her. Well, that guy, he can't wear them because he's a fucking dragon. Yeah, this is what the problem with this game is. Alright, I think we're good to go. Yeah, that's the problem with this game. is the fact that even though you don't get any skits... Oh, I'm about to eat one more. Okay, we're good to go. You always have to eat one more just in case, and that's the main problem with it. I could eat more food and it will give me different type of dialogue, but I don't want to deal with it, so. Uh, so yeah. So we just listened to skits for like another, for like another like five hours. Pretty much so. So remember this town? This, wait, this, oh yeah, I forgot about this. Oh, I get two. Oh, no, wait, no. There we go. Let's see, this is why I checked it out. So I might do one more part before I um before I stop recording, because I've got a lot of parts of this game lately, so I'll let the people start chattering about nothingness, but yeah. I didn't expect myself to get through that part a lot alive. But I hope you guys have a nice positive day. Take care. And you know what? We're moving our way along. Um, I'm surprised that I'm actually recording this at this time of night. Because right now it's 3.30 in the morning. So, you can tell how long I've been, like, you know, recording this these parts. Because it's late at night. Because during the day I'm trying to help out many people. Same goes for the night time. So, yeah. It's been, like, a few minutes. Um, so, stay positive. Hope you have a nice positive day. Bitches! Sorry. Oh yeah, also Rose and Soraya are married. <laughs>
Apparently to the Lord. 